Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This will be a reading for Scorpio. Yeah. Scorpio in love, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, in this reading, I'll be using my very own tarot deck, the Nomad Soul Warrior Tarot Deck Limited Edition. And... Um, this is now available at my in my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below. You can also follow me on Instagram. I do have the link in there. And uh, you can message, direct message me if you have any questions about the deck. Uh, or you can follow, or you can go to Etsy.com, search Nomad Soul Warrior. You can see the listing for this deck. All right. Okay. So, uh, Scorpio. Yeah, this is for Scorpio. Scorpio, let's find out what's going on in your love connection. So, you would have a particular person in mind for this reading. Uh, the person you've been thinking about, the person you're connecting with, or the person you have connection with, right? And you want to know how they feel about you. Let's find out what storyline can we get for you this t today. Scorpio. Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. First card out. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Three of Cups. The Ace of Cups. Uh huh. Still trying to have um, better placements of the th of the spread. The world, the two of pentacles, six of cups, six of swords, the knight of cups, the emperor. Nine of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, okay. Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. You care about somebody. You care about somebody on what they think, how they feel, whether they're thinking about you right now. Because apparently, I feel like you're not even communicating right now with this person. You're not uh, possibly talking. Not that you have fought. And it's more like maybe there was not a clear um, channel of communication. Yeah. But you do have feelings. You do have feelings for this person, I feel. Mm -hmm. For now, I could feel like... You're wondering if this person is interested. <laughs> interested to you. Or interested about you. Because it seems like they are not reaching out. Um, they're letting you be alone. Letting you be. Whether you're alone or not, it seems like they are letting it be, right? And for some reason, I am getting that you want to communicate to them. Yeah, you want to um, get this over with, you know, the distance, the no communication. You want to get this over with and you want to communicate. You want to be able to talk to them. No, let's just, let's look at your person. This person, they... They may have felt like it's over for you too. It may have felt, yeah, they may have felt like it's over for you too. This situation, whatever this is. Um, but I do see that they are thinking or, or wondering whether 
is this really over? So there is that sense, you know, they could feel that things may have been over between the two of you, but at some point, um, they're still kind of thinking, is this really over or not with Scorpio? It could just be that Scorpio is busy. That's why you're not talking to one another. You know, it could just be because of the holidays that you were busy and things like that. So for this person, they were also busy. And for some of you, this is someone who is um, trying to be busy, trying to show you that they are busy. When in fact, all I can, I can see here or much that I could see here is them having you in their mind 24 hours a day. They're thinking about you. And even though they would appear busy, perhaps they were trying to sort of let go since you're not talking to one another right now. Um, they can't get you out of their mind, Scorpio. So it seems like both of you have the same... <laughs> you have the same secret. Both of you are kind of letting things be, but both of you are still thinking and you do care about each other. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this person has started to open up to you back then, or perhaps even now when you talk to them. I don't think that um, somebody here has been blocked or whatever. It seems like there's just no one pursuing this. Yeah, but if you talk to one another, if let's say you ask them about some logistic stuff, um, where to go, what do you do and all that, I think the communication for, for those type of topics are still there. You could still carry on, carry out that type of conversation or, or communication, but in terms of pursuing you or you pursuing them or both of you trying to pursue this connection for one another, I don't see that happening. And it's not because things have died off. No, because I see that you care, you have feelings for them. And this person, even if they are pretty undecided right now as to whether is this really over with Scorpio or not? Is, this, is there still another chapter with Scorpio or not? Even if they are at that stage right now, I feel like this person... The, the emotions yeah, of this person has slowly opened up to you. And for some reason, they are open yeah, emotionally to you. So even if you, if you reach out to them and start ex expressing, perhaps, you know, talk about how you feel and all that, I feel like they will be ready to listen. Mm -hmm. I see this person's going to miss you in the long run. Mm -hmm. I see they're going to miss you in the long run. They would appear right now as very um, confident that they're good, they're okay with or without you. Um, that may be true, yeah, in terms of the other aspects in their life. I feel like this person is able to carry out whatever they need to do, whether it be in their work, in other responsibilities that they have to face. I feel like they are good in that sense. But emotionally, that is tied to love life, for instance. I feel like this person's still going to reach out to you later or that, you know, they will miss you. If for so long you will not be talking, they will miss you. And because for now, you're always in this person's mind. Mm -hmm. You occupy a free rental space in their brain. <laughs> you have a real estate there in their brain. For free, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, and um, actually, um, I see that this person is, is kind of hopeful that things could still progress. There would, there would be some progression yeah, in, in this connection. That means that if you're not talking today, they're hopeful, they're wishing that, you know, you could start talking, you could start to be more open, you could start to be hanging out often, you know, and all that. They're hoping to see if there is a possibility for both of you to be in a relationship, in a commitment, or to be together, yeah, however you would label it. But this person is hoping 
is wishing that um, the possibility for uh, both of you to be together is there. Yeah. And you know what? I think this is just a very uh, straightforward reading, but I do see the outcome for this connection is that there is going to be a brand new start between the two of you because this person is on you, is very much into you, whether you know it or not. They want to be with you. They want to hang out with you often. They want to spend more time with you. They want to enjoy with you. And I just see that, you know, the um, energetically, this person is really open to you emotionally. They're open to offer you what they feel or what they have in, in inside, in their heart. They're open to expressing how they feel. Yeah. So what are we waiting for now? We're waiting. It seems like you are feeling as though you have been abandoned. You're not talking to them. And yet you still want to talk to them. Scorpio, what is going on? <laughs> Anyway, I see, like I said, we have the Ace of Cups there. That's a new beginning. Yeah, Three of Cups, getting back, getting together, getting back together or spending more time together. I do see that happening. You know what? Both of you are very loving individuals. Yeah, both of you actually. Um, but both of you as well have very strong um, mental state. Uh, that could be it's not really an issue but that could be a factor as to why you are not yet together right now yeah you need to have this you know the dance of it's not really in the flirting space but more of the dance of getting into a relationship sometimes somebody has to move forward somebody has to follow and and vis-a-vis -vis, right <laughs> something like that I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comments. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my Tara deck. The Nomad Soul Warrior Tara deck limited edition is now available in my Etsy shop. The link is down below or you can follow me in Instagram at Nomad Soul Warrior. Bye now.